Hey folks, welcome to the Dr. Deals podcast, where we talk about healthcare business transactions. This is Nick Newsad from healthcontract.com. Today I'm going to cover two things you should know about orthopedic surgery physician practice management fees. If you don't know anything about the ban on the corporate practice of medicine or practice management arrangements, go download my audiobook Dr. Deals on iTunes or Audible and come back after listening to that. For everyone else who's already in the know, there are two things you need to consider when setting management fees for orthopedic surgery practices. First, all orthopedic surgery practices are not the same. Orthopedic trauma surgeons and spine surgeons tend to have lower practice expenses compared to other types of orthopedic surgeons because they provide a larger proportion of their services in inpatient hospital facilities. Orthopedic sports medicine, hand surgeons, and foot and ankle surgeons tend to have the highest practice expenses among orthopedic surgeons because they provide a high proportion of their services in outpatient clinic settings. Management fees need to be calibrated to your orthopedic subspecialty mix. Additionally, if you have pain management, chiropractors, physician assistants, or physical therapists in the practice, the management fees will need to account for the unique practice expenses of those specialties. The second thing you need to know about orthopedic surgery practice management fees is that calculating fair market value fees for the professional practice is relatively easy. I have an overwhelming amount of data about the non-medical practice expenses of all types of orthopedic surgeons. What makes it complex is the wide array of in-office ancillary services that may be billed out of the practice as well as management fees for subsidiary ambulatory surgery centers. Orthopedic practices can have x-rays, MRIs, physical therapy, DME, ambulatory surgery, and minor procedure rooms for pain management. The management company, or MSO, may provide special facilities, equipment, supplies, and support staff for a whole menu of ancillary services. When I'm preparing a management fee analysis for an orthopedic surgery practice, I would expect to spend most of my time customizing management fees for the ancillary services. This is Nick Newsad from healthcontract.com. Give me a call if you need a fair market value opinion for orthopedic surgery management services. Let's do some doctor deals.